By now, most people watching this channel are probably already aware of the potential for psychedelics like psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, to help treat mental health care conditions such as depression. Over the last year, on this channel, we have covered many different studies that showed psilocybin is indeed, in fact, effective in treating depression. But despite that, many questions remain. One such question is whether psilocybin should be a replacement for traditional methods of treating depression, such as SSRIs, or whether the two medications can work in tandem to create the best results. For example, in November, Compass Pathways, ticker symbol CMPS on the NASDAQ exchange, released data on their phase 2B clinical trial attempting to treat treatment-resistant depression with psilocybin. This was the largest ever clinical trial studying a psychedelic, with over 200 participants. And the results, while positive, were not groundbreaking. Three weeks after the treatment, of the patients who received 25 mg of psilocybin paired with talk therapy, 37% reported that their symptoms decreased by more than 50% and 29% of people saw a decrease so large that they were considered to be in remission. Now, this was treating people with treatment-resistant depression, meaning that everybody had attempted to try to treat their depression at least two times previously to no avail. Or in other words, they were treating some of the most difficult patients to treat. Nevertheless, coming on the heels of MAPS's phase three clinical trial attempting to treat PTSD with MDMA, which saw 88% of people's symptoms decrease by 50% or more, and 67% of people improved so much that they no longer qualified to be diagnosed with PTSD, Compass's results struck some as a disappointment. One question that arose after the Compass data was published was how the results would have been different if the patients had been allowed to continue taking their SSRIs. See, as part of this study, all participants had to stop taking their other depression treatments. Now, this might strike some as common sense, but it might also cause some issues. For people who have been taking SSRIs for years, stopping abruptly right before the trial was bound to cause some issues. For example, withdrawals. Now, Compass Pathways has published data from a much smaller study that attempted to treat depression with psilocybin, but in this one, the patients were allowed to continue taking their SSRIs. The results of this study were in fact slightly better. After three weeks, 42% of individuals saw their symptoms decrease by 50% or more, and the same number were defined as being in remission. So taking these numbers at face value, it does appear that having patients stay on their SSRIs is slightly better. Perhaps more important, however, was the complete lack of treatment emergent adverse events, classified as serious. This compared to 6% of people in the phase 2b study who had a serious adverse event, such as suicidal ideation or self-harm. If these findings were to be verified, it would be clear evidence that people who want to undergo psilocybin therapy should not quit their SSRIs, or at least not quit them cold turkey as it's possible that many of the adverse events that we saw in the phase 2b trial stemmed from SSRI withdrawal as opposed to negative side effects of the psilocybin itself. However, there are a couple of limiting factors for how much we can extrapolate from this data. First, it was a small study with only 19 patients. This makes saying with any level of confidence that the findings would hold over a wider population impossible. Second, this trial was open label, meaning that there was no placebo control group, and this opens the door to many different biases such as the placebo effect. Nevertheless, the data, even with its limitations, was positive and should lead to larger scale clinical trials. In fact, Compass Pathways is currently planning their phase three clinical trial attempting to treat treatment resistant depression using psilocybin. And the results of this small study will help inform how they design that trial. It is also important to point out that this is the second small study to show that combining SSRIs with psilocybin may be more effective. In November, MindMed published the results of a study that showed that psilocybin therapy when paired with SSRIs is more effective. MindMed found that SSRIs had no effect on the positive mood effects of psilocybin, but significantly reduced negative effects such as anxiety and adverse cardiovascular reactions. However, 
this study has also been criticized. For example, rather than having people who have been on SSRIs for years, everybody that was in this trial started taking the SSRI two weeks before the trial began. As SSRIs often need months of repeated use to take effect, it is an open question how reliable the data from this trial was. Plus, even though there was a placebo group in this trial, it was still a small trial with only 23 people completing it. Now armed with two studies, albeit small and not perfectly designed, that show that taking psilocybin in conjunction with SSRIs is not only safe, but even maybe more effective. Where do we go from here? I know that this might be a slightly controversial topic. Many people excited about the potential for psychedelics like psilocybin are hoping it can be a replacement for substances like SSRIs and not just an added layer of medication. And I do share these hesitations. Ideally, new mental health care drugs based on psychedelics would be a replacement for our current mental health care drugs, which often carry with them serious risks like addiction. But we have to follow the science. That means testing different hypotheses to find the best outcomes, irrespective of our own personal preferences. If the science ends up showing that it is both safer and more effective for people to stay on their SSRIs when undergoing psilocybin therapy, then so be it. To be clear, we are not at that point yet. We only have two small data points, so we can't make any definitive conclusions but we do have enough data to have larger controlled trials testing this thesis, something I expect to see lots of in the coming years. It's also important to note that this might just be evidence that it's not good to cut off your SSRIs cold turkey. Perhaps future data will show that the best regimen is to slowly wean yourself off of your SSRIs after your first psychedelic experience over the course of several months but that is just a guess on my part. But what do you think about these findings? Do you think that psilocybin should be a replacement for SSRIs in patients undergoing treatment for depression? Or do you think that it is possible that the best case scenario is the two different substances working hand in hand? I wanna know your opinions down in the comments.